Hi everyone, welcome to our channel. In this video, I am going to explain about the Vidal test report, how to read the Vidal test report. Before that, if you have not subscribed our channel, please do subscribe and press the bell icon for regular updates and notifications. Coming to the topic, Vidal test is a blood test. It is done to diagnose the typhoid. One thing we should remember that typhoid is not a confirmatory test for typhoid because in certain viral infections also there are chances for the vital test to be positive. So based on only on vital test don't confirm the typhoid. Other tests like blood culture is generally done to confirm the typhoid and basically Typhoid is caused by a bacteria called Salmonella typhi and other bacteria called Salmonella paratyphi is also involved in the typhoid and Salmonella typhi has two antigens Salmonella typhi O antigen and Salmonella typhi H antigen and when coming to the Salmonella paratyphi Salmonella paratyphi also has three antigens O antigen, AH antigen and BH antigen. So whenever a person was infected with typhoid, this bacteria enters the human body. Once the bacteria enters the human body, body's immune system develops antibodies against this antigen. So a person infected with typhoid generally has typhoid antibodies in the blood whenever doctors advise vital test the lab technician will collect blood from the patient and this collected blood sample is mixed with the antigens or chemical reactants in the lab and they will see some agglutination reaction that is antigen antibody reactions in the lab based upon the antibodies or based upon the antigen antibody reaction they'll give a report and whenever we see the vital test report we come across certain words like s dot typhi o s dot typhi h s dot para typhi a h s dot para typhi b h these are all nothing but the antigens S dot typhi means salmonella typhi. S dot para typhi means salmonella para typhi. Presence of S typhi O indicates the acute infection. That is the person recently got infected with typhoid. Whereas the presence of S typhi H indicates chronic infection. It means the person already infected, already got typhoid in earlier days. And the presence of AH and PH as paratyphy indicates the carrier. And the, in the typhoid or in the vital test report, we also see positive and negative. Positive means the person got typhoid. Negative means the person is not infected with typhoid. We also see certain digits like 1 is to 20, 1 is to 40, 1 is to 80, 1 is to 160. 1 is to 320 etc. These are all nothing but the dilutions are titers. Higher the dilution, higher the infection. Generally, 1 is to 80, up to 1 is to 80 dilution does not indicate typhoid. Any titer or any dilution greater than 1 is to 80 is considered as typhoid according to the recent scenario. Okay, with this basic knowledge, we'll go with the typhoid vital test report how to read. So, you can see in the slide like S dot typhi O and S dot typhi H, we can see that the dilution are tighter 1 is to 80, up to 1 is to 80 is positive, and the remaining 1 is to 160 and 1 is to 320 are negative. And you can also see that S dot para typhi AH and S dot para typhi BH dilutions are completely negative. Uh, as I already told, any titer less than 1 is to 80 is considered as typhoid negative. That is the person does not have typhoid. 
so with this viral test report we can say that the person is not infected with typhoid okay next coming to the other test report in this report uh, you can see that the titer a dilution a titer is positive up to 1 is to 160 and the s dot para type is completely negative so here we can easily say that the person is typhoid positive that is the person got typhoid because the dilutions are tighter is greater than 1 is to 80 so this test report shows that the person is a person got typhoid this is this is the basic thing you should learn or you should understand about the typhoid or viral test report thank you for watching